Part two of two of this video. Welcome back to Jack's Patch. I'm Jack. Um, we're going to be talking about all things permaculture, upcycling, zero waste, um, how to grow organic veggies, um, and yeah, really just like a bit of insight into it all. How I can help you do it quicker um, and better and better for the environment because that's what I'm all about. Right. So in the first part of the video, we done um, like the raised bed on top of the insect hotel so we've got the edible uh, flowers there the nasturtiums um, which are linking with the beehives over the back so they're going to come across pollinate everything here to get to the also guys just going to cut to the video I've done before just show you how I planted that um, edible flowers in the raised bed above the insect hotel so I'm just going to cut that bit where I just was and then just cut to it and then come back. I've put one of these uh, foldable, um, they're like, you, that you get them on building sites, they put like um, scaffolding bits in there but these are perfect to sit on top of pallets um, you can get them like probably from scaffold yards or anywhere like that a lot of the time because if they're, uh, if they're not looking so good you can get them for free or some people sell them on Gumtree and that for like five pound a pot I've got plenty of them but what I've decided to do is put one on top of the pallets I'm going to create a little raised bed on top. Um, we've got loads of like nasturtiums. Can't say the word, but edible flowers. It's better. Sounds better anyway. Um, these guys, and they were doing too well in the greenhouse. So I've brought them over here. Silly me. Like yesterday, in a bit of a rush, I dropped them. So look, lost some of the guys. I'm absolutely proper gutted actually but I'm gonna get the rest of them in and then my little plan of thinking is the bees come from over there I'm gonna try as like the raised beds in that corner it's a bit perfect really so that the bees are gonna come across all the um, where my vegetables are growing and they're gonna to head towards the um, edible flowers as a as well as pollinating everything I've got in there um, so I just think it's a nice idea the edible flowers will probably grow over they're a bit of like a, they're a bit wild looking they just kind of flop over and they'll be here and I'll be harvesting them hopefully it'll attract bees um, into these holes and then they can like hibernate um, they can reproduce etc just try and get the good pests in um, just for just for like the whole permaculture principles don't use pesticides and all that shit to be honest um, but yeah so back to this what I've put put like a bit of cheap uh, lining in I've kind of just so it doesn't retain moisture this stuff has got like holes like it's kind of like cloth um, but I've like scored the bottom a little bit just maybe a little bit of water runoff probably don't really want to get the wood wet but just want to let it breathe a little bit just I've put a bit of manure on free from the allotment a bit of organic vegetable compost in the top and then we'll plant them and then we'll come back and by about May they should like they're growing super quick so we should have them in and then like, we'll do an update on that and then while I'm over here in a week I'm just going to like fill all these gaps make it look a lot better because it's just looking a bit tired as the as the rest of the allotment is at the minute but we're getting there as um, i've shown in previous vlogs i've just filled up a water bottle full of the worm rum from the worm bath um, and what i'm just gonna do is just oh, ignore the wind let's get it down here try and get out of the wind just gonna feel like where I've planted it all, I'm just going to fill each individual hole with a bit of worm rum and then I'll follow it up with some water. But this is like plant steroids. As I said previously, like this stuff is legit. 
I mean, this is as organic as you're going to get it. And that's what we're trying to strive for here. So do it as organic as possible. I mean, screw pesticides, screw chemicals. Not about that life. Right, as you can see, um, so that was a bit of permaculture design where, um, as I said in the first part of the video, I've got the beehives over there. They're gonna come across the plot. They're gonna pollinate. Um, they're gonna get, pollinate all my vegetables as they go towards the edible uh, flowers. So the nasturtiums in the raised bed here. Um, my back plot is there and I've got these Sunzilla sunflowers here this is like uh, first batch I'm gonna plant some more today which I'm gonna uh, vlog as well um, but yeah just trying to trap the bees to my pot so they can pollinate um, and then yeah just create a good ecology a bit of biodiversity on the plot as well um, so really guys just a bit like this episode it's a bit of a catch-up it is actually beautiful today it's like 23 degrees we've had a bit of random weather so we, it went up to 27 for like two days and then it dropped down to like four degrees at night so i'll wrap the um as you can still see i've still got like a bit of bubble wrap in the greenhouse um, but i actually wrapped it in this polythene that is. i had to wrap the greenhouse like a christmas present pretty much just like keep in the heat as much as possible where i've got all the uh, mediterranean like got the chilies got the peppers the tomatoes i just i couldn't afford to lose it also i just that like as a bit of protection, wrapped it up, uh, sustained a bit more temperature for a couple of days. And then, um, yeah, so everything's, it's, it's doing well. Like, as you can see, all the tomatoes, they're doing well, they're coming up. All the cows done really well. Coriander, you can see the leaves. Oh, and I found out coriander is North American as well. Like in the first part of the video, I didn't know where it was from. And it's actually, they call it cilantro in the States, as well as I think, I don't know if uh, Australia did as well, but yeah, they call it cilantro. It's actually called cilantro and coriander is like the lower leaves of the plant. It's got like two separate names, which I thought, which was a bit mad, but also the beetroot's doing well, the lettuce is coming up. This ain't doing too good a cucumber, but I think the soil temperature needs to be higher. Um, and a snail got that one. Uh, got mm, yellow courgettes. Uh, the sun to the sunflower. I've got pictures I've seen on Google of this, and it grows to like 10 foot. So buzzing about that. That's gonna be it's gonna be mad if that grows to 10 foot. Uh, yeah, just got some yellow monster peppers. What are these? Long red chili pepper. They're doing well. Got loads at home, um, and also as well, which I wanted to address in this vlog, which I've gonna start doing a bit of an experiment I've messaged a few friends it's a bit hippie of me but also growing with like uh, crystals I've got mates who are well into it uh, like they like crystal believe in crystal healing um, and also all crystals have like energy as well um, that you tap into but these been some experiments I've been watching um, or I've read about in a book and they clustered uh, crystals together because they draw like grounded properties, earthing properties, properties to the sun, to the moon, um, and moon planting is a genuine thing as well. And it like because it like draws the uh, the gravity, draws the seeds out of the ground, but also with the crystals, it's like energy around the stone. If it's drawing energy, I mean the plants are attracted to it, and um, yeah, like people like putting uh, the crystals around seeds in the same soil same like kind of um conditions that's where i was going with that keep blabbing um same kind of conditions with seeds without the stones and they just said they grew quicker the ones with the crystal so just going to get some in the greenhouse and just right, give it a go i need to look into it a little bit more but another thing i do believe in which a big fan of my uh, i'm a big fan of nikola tesla and uh be electrician as well like he's invented ac electricity um x-ray wi-fi it all stems back to him the guy was an absolute genius so if you don't know that and definitely look him up um but also he believed that the secrets in the universe were with energy sound and frequency um frequency and vibration and i've been playing like uh frequency music to the seeds when i'm here so 
even play like Mozart, Bach and uh, Beethoven as well, which um, they align with the frequency of our bodies better than say pop music these days, which is more distorted. It doesn't have the same kind of uh, frequency as it used to, but we've done studies and it actually changes your brain waves when you listen to that kind of classical music, but also with plants as well. So it sounds a bit hippie, a bit out there, but I've read some books on it and it pr pretty much blew my mind. And it's scientific studies that you can access and read for yourselves as well. So we're just gonna, just gonna give that a go. Um, I may have lost a few of you by saying a few things like that. Do that guy so hip and stop watching him. But if you're interested, look into it. And I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go and we'll see where it go from here. So if you guys know anything about it, let me know. If you think I'm fit, if you've got, I've, I want to try it. So it's gonna be coming up in the next video. I'm gonna do a video all about that, and then we'll do, we'll do like a future video and see how well we've done as well so yeah that's that's gonna be coming up as well as the potato one um, and yeah guys now the weather's here it is pure bliss like 23 degrees I might actually get tan uh, power as got the old milk bottles out today um, but yeah so that's it guys so I'll just cut over to planting we'll show you a little bit of that and then that's this video done potato one will be out straight after and then we'll just get the ball rolling. Now the weather's here, gonna be over a bit more, and um, we'll show you some more hacks, some more um, upcycling as well, just how to use like free resources around you, and then also an update on all the plants, and then we're gonna to go to peak abundance, um, and gonna start doing some events as well, so uh, like a food event, so get people to try real food, like, so pick it, and then literally pick it hours before the event maybe some things i might take with me and pick them on spot and just get people to taste the flavors but that's going to be coming up all right so let's shoot over to the next bit right guys so we're sowing seeds now got my trays here got my seeds uh, i'm going to plant a few of the more edible flowers a few of them are looking a slightly bit wilted where we've had like a big fluctuation in temperature um, and also i've got a little uh chimney pot over there and i like them to just like again another line where the bees can go there and then there and then to the sunflowers at the back um so yeah we're just trying to draw them across the whole plots as i said in the first video to um, pollinate everything in between so you're kind of making nature work for you um, as well um so yeah it's gonna be planting some nasturtium so a few more edible flowers so Pine compost is the only thing I don't really have control over. You have to buy it in. Um, but just do your best to get like the best quality one out there. Don't get anything that's sprayed with chemicals or anything like that. So try and get an organic one or just ask which one is the most natural one out there. Um, and yeah, I just use a bit of vermiculite for drainage as well. It seems to be like the best mix that I've come across so far. Um, but yeah, if I had it my way, I'd love to produce it all myself. Um, but we're not that we're not there yet just starting out but yeah this is this is my little method of doing it so just make sure that you put you put it all on and then just compact it down a bit a bit more not too tough but as long as it's like compact because so, you don't want it too loose let you see how much that's going down already just with a little problem with my fingers guys when it comes to seeding um, you use a like use an allotment book or like a book as a reference so all seeds uh, want to go in at different heights the so smaller seeds um, so some like tomatoes and peppers um, like these edible flowers they all got all the seeds of different sizes and they all need to go down at a certain depth as well I still use it for reference because I don't really know every every type of uh, see depth so yeah just always have a book when you're doing this as well H highly recommend it give it a little spray up so seeds get in direct water before you put the uh, compost back on top and once you water it it's pretty much just sprinkle it on top like so 
just lightly. That should be good. 